space has fascinated us for years. New interesting discoveries are constantly being made, not just showing us how small we are, but giving us an insight into the wonders of our universe. It's likely that within many of our lifetimes we'll see humans on the red planet, as these missions are going to happen within the next 10 years. Jim Bridenstine said the following about the upcoming mission. We are working right now to put together a comprehensive plan on how we could conduct a Mars mission using the technologies that we will be proving at the moon. End quote. Unfortunately, despite these new claims, and this new rush to beat this SpaceX's Mars colonization developments, a report has surfaced from the Science and Technology Policy Institute that detailed information and proof to be provided to the United States Congress that supported the conclusion that NASA does not have the technology and infrastructure to sustain or craft a Mars mission whatsoever by the year 2033. The report also assumed that even if the NASA budget was treated as an unlimited resource, the time constraints in the project specifications would be impossible to meet, with NASA's current employee numbers, work output and overall technological advancements. The report detailed the following. We find that even without budget constraints, a Mars 2033 orbital mission cannot be realistically scheduled under NASA's current and notional plan. End quote. Despite this report, and additional supporting claims by other corporate space agencies criticizing NASA's developments, the organization still feels capable of supporting a 2033 Mars mission and says it will use a number of Martian rovers to gather complex information on water gathering techniques and soil samples on the Red Planet to decide what course of action will be best for human colonization. Recently, NASA captured an interesting object close to our sun. In recent years, this object has become known as the cube and theories for what it is ranges from an unidentified flying object to camera anomalies. NASA have pointed out that these objects are nothing of interest, have nothing to do with unidentified flying objects, and have said there's no need for further explanation, as what we are looking at is something like a glitch in the data. However, not everyone agrees with this idea. In fact, another one of these cubes has just showed up at the sun, and right away UFO believers started to share the image. The image shows what looks like a giant cube close to the surface of the sun, with some saying it looks like solar rays are causing the object to look a little faded. And as mentioned on NASA's website, the joint NASA ESA Stirling Heliospheric Observatory mission, SOHO was designed to study the sun inside out, from its internal structure, to the extensive outer atmosphere, to the solar wind that blows across the solar system. Launched in December 1995, SOHO was meant to operate until 1998, but it's been so successful that ESA and NASA have endorsed several mission extensions over the past two decades, allowing it to cover multiple solar circles. As believers pointed out though, these mysterious cubes keep making appearance close to the sun, with one researcher saying that in one of these images it looks like the cube is interacting with the sun. One user who saw the image said the following, This image looks strange because it appears it's been blacked out. We've seen this time and time again on places like Google Earth, but now it appears to be happening in space. Something is clearly pulling away from the sun, and even having an effect on it. I'd love to see what's behind it. It's strange that they felt the need to black out whatever was there. In most of these images, the cube is by the side of the sun, but this is one of those times where it actually appears to be having an effect on the sun. End quote. Others went on to share more images of these mysterious cubes, pointing out that others appear to be embedded inside the sun, or even interacting with it. As of right now, UFO researchers have said they think these crafts are not from this world, and could even be monitoring our planet and watching human civilization. Interestingly, those who have studied these anomalies have said there's two different times. You have this one that looks kind of transparent and cloaked, then the other version that looks like a giant black cube. 
UFO researchers have said the large transparent cube has a kind of cloak on them that means it's harder to see them, whereas the black cubes aren't actually a cube, but were actually placed there in order to hide something behind it. Those who've used measuring tools have suggested these giant cubes are hundreds of miles in length. Skywatchers go on to say it's not just the sun where these large objects are seen, but they've also appeared close to our moon as well. As mentioned, amateur researchers who have measured it have said it's massive. But what do scientists make of these anomalies? Firstly, they've said that what people are seeing is definitely not an extraterrestrial ship, and that sometimes space debris can take on different shapes that makes it look like something is not. NASA and other space agencies have said they presented evidence to back this up, and notes that although they look impressive, when NASA's scientists have looked at them they've always turned out to have a mundane explanation. According to one scientist, they noted that many of these images show these anomalies, and all that people are seeing is glitches in the software, and that it has nothing to do with UFOs. NASA backed this up and said that out of the hundreds of thousands of photographs they've taken, they've never once captured an unidentified flying object. Further saying that another thing that could explain what people are seeing is that of space debris, and when this flies in front of the cameras it gives off the illusion that something is there when it isn't. So what do you make of these photographs? Do you think something is there, or is this just a software glitch? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.